Todd. But first, I'm going to show you how I did the Derrick Rose poster and the Ballers Club poster. The first thing I did was, of course, bring in a red background and make sure that it matched the Bulls color of red. And then I found this image on cleanping.com. It's also on pingegg.com. And you can download that. This was kind of dirty, so I had to clean it up a lot. But the ones that are up there now are pretty clean. They're more like this. So once I did that, I brought in the Adidas logo and I, of course, decreased the opacity, brought in the tagline and the bulls. And this is just an example of what I did, but mine was a lot cleaner than this. I brought in the Chicago logo and that was pretty much it. Now, this was done for a 15 year old kid. It's a friend of mine's son and he loves football. So what I did was I went to pingegg.com. I brought in the football player. And his second favorite sport was basketball and MJ. And of course, he also loved Kobe. So I made sure each of those players had a ball and they were on the football. And that was important here because it's called the Ballers Club, right? His girlfriend played volleyball. The problem with this image is that it came in with a white background. So I press Shift O and left clicked on this to, of course, delete this by color and the one color here was white so it was easy and just press delete or go to edit and down to clear if you have a Mac and now that's ready we'll bring it over let's bring her on the ball as well so that's important I also had to scale some of this shift S as in Sam and I think I did a rotation on her too which would be shift R as in red and then his little brother plays soccer so we brought in a soccer player and also put him on the ball And once I did that, the dominant colors here are red. So I made ballers red. And then I wanted to bring in the gold from Kobe and the blue from the volleyball player. So I brought in gold and blue. And then she told me that he loved gold. So I found a gold texture background. I changed the composite mode to multiply. And that's what we have. I did apply a bevel and drop shadow filters to a few of the players but especially the bevel to Michael Jordan to try to pop him off. I didn't put a lot into this, but he liked it, and it was free. Now let's move on to the pizza ad. When you first download these images, they're going to ask you to do something like this from pingegg.com. Just go ahead and match them up in order. And I only had to do this one time. And these are the images that we're going to download, and they're listed in the order in which I actually bring them into the project. So let's get started, and the first one will be our background. So my first goal to darken the background, I did make a copy of it. So go up the colors, go down the curves, and let's darken this up. Keep in mind, this is going to be an intermediate level lesson, and I'm going to try to use nothing but shortcuts. All right, so we have a background. Let's bring in our pizza. And now we're going to press shift plus C as in cat, crop that, let's crop it, press enter, and bring it over, and now we can scale that. So shift plus S as in Sam, and then hold shift plus control or command, and scale this up or down. You want to maintain the ratio of this. If I click in the center here, I can move it, and let's move it over. I'm going to speed this up. And let's keep going. Let's bring in our sauce. And we'll bring it up so we can see it. We'll scale that. Bring it down. Place it. So make your adjustments here. Now press M as in Mary to move. And move the pizza over. So we can create room for our ingredients. Let's put that behind the plate. And normally you should drop a shadow on that. I think I did later, but if I didn't drop a shadow on that, Let's crop that one too. Shift C as in cat. Bring it over. Let's bring in our spice spoons. Shift R as in red to rotate. And of course, shift plus S as in Sam. Let's make sure we bring it up so it's on top of the sauce bowl there. Okay, now let's bring in our mushrooms. 
and we need to put them behind the plate and behind the ingredients package there with the tomatoes and the cheese so let's drop it down and later we're going to drop a shadow on that of course all right let's make that a little bit bigger all right let's go bring in some more let's bring in our olives of course we're gonna hold control or command and scroll down or up to make that fit gonna bring it down we're gonna hold shift R to rotate that upside down and we're gonna drop it behind our ingredients package there crop it pop it in and we're gonna scale it and rotate it shift S shift R bring it over there scale that up Now here we have to press I and we need to cut the part we want out. So just left click, press I and just go ahead and just click around it. It's okay to go outside. Then once we get to the beginning, press enter and then we'll have the marching ants. Press control command C as in cat, copy. Go over to the picture and press control command V as in victory to paste it. Bring it up so we can see it. You can rename it right here if you want as well. I normally rename these and I also create groups, folders for them, if it's a large project. Let's go ahead and place that, scale it up. And we'll touch it up later. Let's bring it behind the pizza and let's keep going. Now let's do the same thing here. Press I and let's cut out this basil leaf here. Same way. Enter, Control, or Command C, and of course Control, Command V. Bring it up so we can see it. Here I'm going to press Shift or Control, Command N as in New to create a new layer. Because it was a floating item, so I'm going to make a new layer for that. Let's replace this a little bit. Let's bring in more ingredients. Okay, now we have the pizza. Let's scale that. Take it to the corner. We can touch it up later. Let's go over and bring in our background for our price. So let's scale that. Now we need to change the black color to green. Let's press O. So let's get our color first. Let's left click here, our color picker. And now we have green. Let's go Shift plus B as in boy and left click inside that. To get the green color is bring in another image. Now here we're going to press Control or Command and scroll up or down so we can see what we're doing. And now let's go ahead and scroll this. Make sure you hold Shift and Control or Command. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's scale that. Okay. Now let's bring in our fast delivery image. Scale. Move it down. Okay, now let's bring in our text. So let's press R to bring in our rectangle tool. Left click and drag. And now we're going to fill that with our background color. So I'll go up to edit and go down to fill with background color. Let's create a border here. Let's go back to our rectangle tool. Press R as in red. Let's tighten this up. Now let's right click. Down to select and border. Make it two, press enter, and now let's fill this with our foreground color. Let's unselect that. Let's type in our text, font size, and our phone number here. Make that bigger. Bring it down a little bit. Let's make that bigger there. Scale that up. And let's type in our address. Let's change our font size. Okay, so we got that. Let's type in buy one, get one, and let's rotate that. Scale it up, rotate that, yada, yada. Okay, got that going. We'll fix it a little bit later. Let's move the background. Let's go ahead and type in Angel and Andes. Scale that up. Let's type in pizza. We're going to change the font later, so don't worry about that. But use whatever font you like here. 
So I'm not going to be font specific. All right, let's rotate that, make it a little better. Let's go ahead and type in two dollar slices. Come and get some. Scale that up. Let's move that up so it's more in the middle of the box. Let's change our font to railway bold or ultra bold or whatever font you want to choose. I like lobster too, but whatever you like. So there are some options. Make that bold. Change the font to 375. Let's go ahead and add some, I don't know, color here maybe. Let's go white, red, and green. And let's make the AN a little bit darker green. One lighter, one darker, just to mix it up. Let's go add some more text here. Always fresh and homemade. I chose lobster here, but pick whatever you want. Just changing the color of the text so you can read it. The E is not visible, but we'll fix that later. Now let's go ahead to the tomato and let's go to filters, blur, linear blur. Let's create a blur and make sure it's going down. There's different ways you can blur, so make sure it's going down. As you can see, it's dropping or falling. Do the same thing to the tomatoes and the basil. And of course, the single basil leaf over here. Now filters, uh, we can go to decor and bevel that out if you would like. I want to do a drop shadow under the pizza, so go to filters and shadows and do a drop shadow. And again, drop shadowing under different things here. And applying bevels. So that's what we're doing. Filters, decor, bevels. And now let's make that crust a little bit darker. We'll go up to colors and curves. So let's make that crust look a little bit more appetizing. And I want to highlight the top piece here coming off. I want that to be a lot lighter than the pizza itself. So we can play with saturation, temperature, things like that. So I want to pop out the green here or the red there. You know how it goes. So we can go, of course, to light and shadows, add some shadow to that. That's going to pop it off the page a little bit more. We're moving the shadow more to the right here and lowering the opacity. So now let's go down to our background and let's go to colors and let's make that a little bit darker. And some of the midtones and the highlights here. So now pizza pops off a little bit better. So now let's go up to this slices of pizza and we need to pop it off and then also add a shadow behind it. Let's do a drop shadow here. So light and shadow. Let's do a drop shadow. Let's bring the opacity up just a little bit. Something like that. A little bit too dark, but you get the point. So I would just do more bevels, more drop shadows. And sometimes if you do one, the other one falls off. Don't know why. When you're done, just save it as Find out more at there you go. Mid -American Dreamers. Dot four.